Hello, Earth Science students. This is your lesson on understanding the phases of the moon diagram. This diagram is commonly used to help people understand how the phases of the moon work and why you see what you see at different times during the lunar month. But the diagram is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to walk you through the different parts of it to help you understand it better. Let's start in the middle with the Earth. Here's the Earth, and there you are standing on the Earth. But the Earth is seen from a spaceship that is hovering over the North Pole. So right there on the letter R in Earth, that would be the North Pole. And the Earth, as you know, is rotating or spinning counterclockwise. So it would be spinning this way. And this here is the terminator, the day-night line. So this would be the nighttime side of the Earth and the daytime side of the Earth. So this man is standing right at noon, the middle of the daytime side. And midnight over here would be in the middle of the nighttime side. Now our sun is way, way over here somewhere. We can't see the sun, but the sunlight is coming in from the right side on this diagram. It, they could draw this with the sun coming in from the left. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but as long as you know where the sun is, you know that the, the half of the Earth that faces the sun will be the daytime side. And the half of the Earth that is facing away from the sun is the nighttime side. So this man is standing at noon. And as he looks up into the sky, he sees the moon. Actually, he can't see this moon because this is the new moon. Why can't he see it? Because we can only see the moon when it is lit up by the sun. And in this position, the side that is lit up by the sun is the side that this man cannot see as he looks up. He can only see the dark side of the moon, not the light side. So this is what we call the new moon, and it happens on day one of the lunar cycle. Uh, so day two, day three, day four, day five, this is, I've chosen days here, sort of in the middle of the range. The day two would also be a waxing crescent, day three also a waxing crescent, but I've just chosen one day in the middle. Now you see this man here is really standing more like 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and when he looks up, he can actually see the moon but only this tiny little piece right here because this uh, dark part is still not lit up by the sun. He's only seeing this little tiny sliver lit up by the sun and that is what we call a waxing crescent. Now this picture here shows you what it looks like from the ground. Okay, So when he looks up, he can see the right bright on the right the bright side that's lit up is this little sliver that we call a crescent, and that's this little piece right here that he can see. This red line kind of uh, divides the moon in half from the half that's facing the man that he can see. That would be everything on this side of the red line, and the half that's facing away from Earth, everything on this side of the white uh, red line he can't see. Okay, so that's what it looks like from a spaceship hovering above the North Pole. This is what it looks like to you standing in your backyard on day three around 3 p.m. So this is a daytime moon. This is a moon that you'll be best able to see in the late afternoon. So now around one week into the lunar cycle, this man is now standing at 6 o'clock in the evening, so right about when day turns into night. And if you look up at around 6 p.m. on day 7 of the lunar cycle, you will see the bright side still on the right, and it'll be about half of the disk, of the lunar disk that you can see in the sky will be lit up. We call this the first quarter. Now we're going into our nighttime moons. This man is now standing at about 9 p.m. and he looks up and he still sees bright on the right, but this time it's more than half of the moon is lit up. And this is called a waxing gibbous. 
this is what it would look like from him standing on the ground. And you see a little more than half is bright lit up by the sun. This is about on day 10. Now the man is standing at midnight and he looks up and he sees the full moon. The whole half of the moon that faces Earth is lit up. And this is, of course, what we call a full moon. And it's about halfway through the lunar cycle on day 15. Now, this, uh, the, these are the waxing phases. So waxing means getting bigger. And now, after that, we pass the full moon, the phases are going to get smaller. And you'll notice here that the man it looks like he's standing upside down. So this is a little tricky to visualize. He is upside down. Uh, this is about 3 a.m. Okay, so you can see the full moon best at midnight. Now we're about 3 a.m. And he looks up. But notice when I say look up, on your diagram, he's actually looking down. Okay, so you have to sort of flip yourself upside down. So which side of the moon, from his perspective, is lit up now? It's bright on the left. And I've drawn this here for you to see a little better. There's the man standing on the ground, looking up at the moon in the sky. Bright is now on the left. And it's a little bigger than half is lit up. And the dark part is on the right. You can't see that side. So again, here, you, because you're upside down, you're looking up, which is really looking down on this diagram. Bright is on his left from his perspective there. And I've drawn it here better so you can see it from your perspective on the ground looking up. Bright is on the left. At about day 18, you're waning gibbons. Okay, around day 22, here he is. Now he's uh, right about 6 a.m. in the morning. So this is a moon you can see early morning. Looks up and he sees bright on the left. Okay, so here's the man down here. Bright is on his left. Okay, so you have to put yourself upside down looking here to say that that's bright on the left. Notice that these two moons are opposite in how they look. You have to be careful when doing this on a quiz or test, because this is how it looks from the ground. This is how it looks from the spaceship hovering over the North Pole. But from your perspective on the ground, bright will be on the left. And this is about day 22, and we call that last quarter. And here we are uh, ra wrapping up the waning phases, waning crescent. These are, this is about 9 a.m. in the morning, so this is another morning moon. You can see in the daytime, bright is on the left, the waning crescent. Just this little piece here is all you can see. And then we get all the way back to day 30, where we're back to the new moon. It's actually exactly 29.5 days to get uh, all the way through the lunar cycle, uh, but we can round that to 30 days. And this is what our month is based on, approximately 30 days to go once through the lunar cycle. And you can tell the word month was based on the word moon. So maybe it should be really called moon. But uh, that is uh, how to interpret the diagram of the lunar phases and the cycles, the lunar cycles, um, and how it goes through in 30 days. Hope that helps. Thanks.